So positioning, positioning is about your brand and where are you positioned in the market? So one thing I often say is your personal brand. Now, some of you may be selling a product, but your personal brand is key. Many of you probably already know this, but if you're going to have a kingdom brand, it needs to be all of you. And often the thing that is hidden is actually your distinct difference that the world will want. So I'll give you an example because I was doing a lot of marketplace for a lot of years and working with Christians, I wasn't being as um, overt with sharing the prophetic. I was doing it with my clients, but in my marketing, I wasn't doing it. I've started to change that because I recognize we're in a new season and I saw that God was moving me more towards working with more kingdom people. And so even though like I'm on LinkedIn, I'm on Facebook, I'm on many platforms, but I am a little bit measured on LinkedIn and what I share because God's given me language for each market. However, the prophetic is actually the edge of the way that I coach. I've got the skills to coach. I can teach people about selling, but the prophetic is actually what's giving people the breakthrough along with that. So what is it that you have spiritually that you are not yet showing the world that is your edge? And how much do you love brand you? Remember I said yesterday that God showed me people know how to love me. People know how to love their people, but they don't know how to love themselves enough to receive. How much do you love you about your brand? How much do you love you? Because you know what? It's not that you're worried about how other people will feel about you. It's actually your own feelings about yourself that may be stopping you from sharing that message that you need to share that other people are waiting to hear from. They're waiting to hear from you. They are in pain and you can solve their pain. You are holding back. If you are holding back, you are holding back from solving someone's pain, from healing their pain. And their pain could be that they don't know how to do something technically and it's frustrating them that much and they're losing business because of it. What is the cost to them of you not giving them what you need? What is it costing them emotionally? What is it costing them financially for you to not put yourself out there and start to share with the world? And when I talk about marketing and I talk about your brand, your brand is the part of you that never goes away. You are the part of your brand that never goes away. So you always need to be present in your brand, whether you have a product or another service, you're the part of your brand that never goes away. People are going to buy you, especially if you're in some sort of consulting or coaching. So when you are sharing about your brand, share all of who you are, 